about to enter law school, having a hard time in law school, I'm here to help. Today, I will give you 10 tips on how to survive law school. Stay till the end and I'll give you a bonus tip. Stay tuned. Tip number one, stay organized. Learn to have a system where you know where you can place your files, your lecture notes, your case digests, your books. Know where they are. Take know where to place them after you come home from law school or in this case, in this new normal, after an online class. You should avoid panic searching. Just think, maybe tomorrow there's a recitation or there's going to be a quiz in the next day. You have to know where your review materials are. You don't want to be panicky just trying to look for them. Tip number two. Stay healthy. Your mind will be exercised in law school. You will be able to experience brain sweat and you know it ain't pretty. Your chair will be so angry at you from all that sitting down. Your favorite coffee mug will be so eroded from all that drinking. Set time for healthy activities. When I was in law school, I used to bike maybe one or two hours twice a week. I don't look like that right now, but trust me, it's from all the hot chocolate I drank once I became a lawyer. I just found out that they actually banned coffee once you pass the bar exam. Take 30 minutes each day do some light stretching, even some walking. You don't have to go running, you don't have to go to the gym because there's never gonna be enough time. Staying healthy in the first year will reap benefits when you're a senior because sleep is non-existent. Tip number three, know it's a five-year plan. You remember that often asked question interviews, where do you see yourself in five years? Well, there you go. It takes five years to be a lawyer from the first day of your freshman year. After you graduate, if you do, you have six to eight months to study for the bar exam. Then wait another six months just for the results. So it will be your fifth year if you pass and sign the role of attorneys. By setting your goals, knowing it's a five-year plan, you will be able to keep your sanity throughout the four years of law school. As for me, I'm still looking for mine after my first year of being a lawyer. Tip number four. It's not a sprint, it's a triathlon. Reading, recitation, exams, that's the cycle of law school. It's a trifecta. And if you're taking a Juris Doctor, you will have a thesis. Making a thesis is difficult in your it, because some schools make it make you start in the third year or even the fourth year. It all culminates in a thesis defense with a panel of lawyers who have not eaten for a week. Pace yourself daily, weekly, monthly, even semesterally. Tip number five: Use technology wisely. Computers will be your best friend or your only friend when you're third year. Use computers as aids in learning, not as primary tools. They are there to help you get organized. My advice, and I know you're going to troll me for this, is don't use your cell phones for studying. Why? Because you will, not, you will have the habit of not remembering. Just think, do some of you remember or memorize your mother's cell phone number? The only thing you probably remember is the number of the pizza chain because it's the same digit seven times in a row. We use our cell phones for entertainment, watching YouTube videos down that rabbit hole. I just hope you didn't find my video in a rabbit hole. Tip number six, strengthen your support system. Prepare your family and friends knowing it's a five-year plan, as I said before. If you're in a relationship, 
talk to your significant other. Prepare them knowing that they will have competition that will win all the time. As they say, law school is a jealous mistress. Tip number seven, choose your law school friends. Choose wisely. You will gain new friends in law school. You will see them in first year and probably not in the second year, unless you see them in court and then you'll be enemies for a while. Friends help each other. Friends lend law school books, lend law school notes, and lend money. Sometimes they don't pay you back. That's right, Jimmy. I still have that receipt from the three cups of Irish coffee I paid for in junior year. Tip number eight. Improve your handwriting. Most law professors won't tell you, but they also judge on how you wrote in, and besides from what you wrote. Is it too late to change? I don't think so. Get a grade school handwriting manual or tutorial book and learn from there. In my class, in my exams, I always tell my students, if I can't read the answer, minus five points. If a professor sees that the handwriting is neat and clear, he will think that the answer is also neat and clear. Tip number nine, take time out. Once a month or maybe every other week or when they have a suddenly announced holiday, just do nothing. Stay home. Well, maybe you're staying home right now, but do nothing. Don't do anything that reminds you of law school. Watch a movie. Maybe take up a new hobby. Do some quilting or knitting. Or you can play World of Warcraft and level up your characters at max level. If anybody of you play World of Warcraft, hit me up in the comments and maybe we can play in the same realm. Tip number 10, make case digest. First, read the case first. Wait, did I say first twice? Well, that's very important. A case digest will be worthless if you don't know what the case is. So read it in whole before you make the digest. And here's my advice on that. Make the digest after or the day after it was uh, the lesson or it was recited on. Why? Because case digests are meant as a aid, as a recall mechanism, and not the primary tool. Here are the steps. Read the case, go to class, get grilled for recitation, go home. The next day, make the digests. Put them all together, and then when it comes down to midterms or finals, you know where they are. Case digests will help you because one once you enter law school for the midterms and finals, you will study in the law school floor because all the girls got the seats in the library. Now for the bonus tip. This is for exams. Learn to answer in six lines or less. Why? First is to show the professor that you know the answer. By making it short and sweet, he will know that you are not using the shotgun approach or just making bola. If the professor sees those type of answers, he will be happy and you want the happy professor checking your exams. More importantly, answering that manner or that way is actually training for the bar exam. I have calculated that a bar examiner checks six booklets an hour for eight hours a day, five days a week for six months. Just think, if your booklet was the 4,454th booklet, do you think you'll be happy to see a 12-line paragraph or a five-point answer? I hope you picked up something in this video. I wish you the best of luck in your law school career, and I hope you'll be a lawyer someday. I bid you goodbye now. This is Dean Rod Vera saying, It's not what you know, it's what they don't know. Goodbye.